Hi, I've uh, come outside, I've got a few days off work. I had planned to, <laughs> planned to go out for a bit of a hike round, maybe shoot some video on the beach or a bit Devil's Dyke, but I'll tell you, it's cold. It really is, um, it's cold, it's cold out here. So, seeing as I've got this time off work and I'm pretty bored, I thought I'd come out and show you my new cooker which is uh, Primus Nova Plus, which I'm intending to take on my trip to the States um, and various camping locations. This is an Nova Plus. You see it's, um, it's very nice. It's a very small piece of kit. It's very light. The whole thing certainly lays less, less than a pound. weighs about 12 ounces. Okay, the, the burner part attaches to the fuel bottle with a little snap connection here. It just snaps together and when you want to take it apart you just pull this little knurled part back and it, it pops apart because fuel regulation when it's running is by turning this little knob here to allow more fuel through or less fuel through and when the whole thing's finished, you turn the bottle to the off position. And what happens when you do that is there's a little pipe inside here. And the pipe is curved one way. So when it's on the on position, the pipe is in the bottom of the fuel. And the pressure pushes the fuel through the pipe into the burner. What happens when you turn the bottle up the other way is that this pipe is now curved up towards the top of the, uh, the bottle in the airspace. The pressure is still in there and the pressure forces the fuel that's left in the pipe out through the burner and once that fuel, that remaining fuel has been burnt off then the pressure is released from the bottle and um, and that's it basically. Once all the pressure's released, you can snap this off and um, pack the thing away. It's got a little pump action here. It's necessary to pressurise the fuel before you uh, use the stove. It's necessary to allow a little bit of fuel to go through first for pre-ignition. to preheat the burner and as soon as that fuel is burnt off I can allow a bit of fuel in and then As soon as it's warm enough, as soon as that fuel's burnt off and it's warm enough, we can allow the fuel in. And there we go. It's up and running. So, we go for a cup of tea.
Okay, we're going to have a cup of tea. I have a nice little tea bag. No, no time at all, this thing's boiling away. I'm just going to chuck the tea bag in there. Probably the best way to make it, I think. Off, what we do is turn the whole fuel bottle up the other way to the off position and once the fuel that's left within the pipe is burned off And that's it, the Primus uh, turns itself off basically and allows the pressure to burn out. Okay, cup of tea. Very nice, some milk. There we go. We've got a nice cup of tea. Which is pretty good. So why did I get this model? Well, I figured I'm going to be thousands of miles away from home for an extended period of time. I wanted something reliable. I wanted something fairly light. Okay, it's not as light as these ultralight backpacking stoves. But it is reliable. <laughs> you can see I'm bored. I got the rucksack out today. I was concerned about the weight of the stuff that's going in there. Um, it felt quite heavy and I put it on the scales. It weighs in at about 28 pounds, which isn't as heavy as I thought it was. It may be a few pounds more than I'd like it to be, but there's certainly some stuff in there that I can take out. I could have gone for lighter equipment, I guess. But as I say, I'm going to be away for a long period of time thousands of miles away from home. Uh, I bought a, a Terra Nova laser large one which is uh, a pretty good tent. Uh, light, it's a two, two person backpacking tent but it's got the extra room of course. It weighs in at 1.8 kilos, about four pounds. I could have got one, a smaller tent at 1.2 1 kilos, about two and a half, three pounds which when I get on the trail I may regret not buying the lighter piece of kit. There's some of the bits of kit in my bag that I could get rid of. There's a really nice pair of binoculars that I want to take with me because I'm interested in seeing uh, bald eagles and golden eagles and uh, seals and all the wildlife. So yeah, I hope you aren't too bored with this video that I've made on my boring day off. Hey YouTube. probably took me about a minute and a half to boil that cup of tea. Of course I've not got the, uh, <laughs> I've only got a saucepan out of the kitchen because when I'm out on the trail I'm going to be using a, a nice lightweight titanium cooking pot so hopefully that'll be even quicker. Don't burn your fingers <laughs> like I did.